There's a shark in the water. Hey, Sean Anderson here. I'm at LAX, about to go to Thailand. Got a little hookup with my wife, my sugar mama. She gets to fly business, so we can't travel together. Today's episode, we're gonna talk about the top 10 plugins in After Effects. Cause why not? While I'm on my trip to Thailand, let's just, let's just do it. Plugin number one. Pixel Sorter, an easy way to experiment with pixel sorting in After Effects. You can use it for transitions or just to style up your footage a bit. Used in big movies like Ghost in the Shell or for deconstructing images for Instagram, enhancing motion work, you can just get that kind of cyberpunk feel added to your visuals in an instant. Definitely not for every project, but I think it can really give some personality and flash to something you're working on. Plugin number two. Plexus, a particle engine that lets you create, manipulate, and visualize data procedurally. Not only can you render the particles, but also create all sorts of interesting relationships between them based on different things like 3D nulls and OBJ vertices. Basically, you can make cool lines, dots, and shapes. It's really fun. There's a shark in the water. Cineware. Cineware allows you to drop C4D files straight into After Effects, allowing you to extract 3D content so you can preview, composite, and set up the project within After Effects for final touch-ups and additions. Cineware comes free with After Effects and Cinema 4D Lite is also free, but to get the most out of this, you need to also purchase the full Cinema 4D software separately. Now, doing this used to be super expensive, but fortunately, well, depending on your view of subscriptions, Maxon has mirrored the subscription model, so now you don't have to drop three to five grand to purchase the software outright. And you can save even more money on Maxon products if you buy the bundle Maxon One, which includes two more products in this list, such as plugin number four, Trap Code, a 3D particle system that can create fire, water, smoke, snow, and other organic visual effects. And since it's part of Maxon, it has integration with Cinema 4D, so you can bring C4D file geometry into your projects as particle emitters, form particle objects, and MER 3D models. One more product from Maxon One makes this list, but more on that later. Optical Flares, a plugin by Video Copilot for designing and animating realistic lens flares in After Effects. A lens flare isn't just something you quip about to dunk on JJ Star Trek movies. There's more than just the stereotypical anamorphic lens flare in here. You can really bring some life to your footage with natural flares, and you may find it hard to revert your shots after using them because it just makes things look so nice. It's also great for product shots, music videos, and you can customize every piece of the flare itself, making it more complex or simple. In combination with the quick lens flare script, you can easily attach it to a null, and then you can just move it around or attach it to something that's really cool. You should check that out too at aescripts.com. But before the next plugin, I want to let you know about the Lazy Editor Bundle, on sale now in the link in the description. Get Easy CRT, VHS Glitch Pack, the TV Screens Pack, and more. If you're lazy like me and just need some great effects fast, then this is the bundle for you. What are you waiting for? Grab this deal while it's hot. Okay, back to the video. Plugin number six. Mocha, the free built-in After Effects version offers a lot of power on its own, such as planar motion tracking. But if you upgrade to Pro, then you get a handful more features such as power mesh, organic warp tracking. It's important to at least be super familiar with the free version. It's crucial for rotoscoping and tracking. I use it for virtually every VFX shot I work on, using the data from it to stabilize shots, to track posters and billboards, to rotoscope, you name it. Number seven. Universe. This is another piece included in the Maxon One package. Universe is a grab bag of effects and transitions. My favorites being Carousel, the Glitch, and the Glow effects. And they're adding new effects all the time. Just look at what they have listed on their website. It's crazy. Plugin number eight. Newton brings realistic dynamics to After Effects, making your 2D composition layers act like solid objects that interact with each other. There's a bunch of ways to control the properties of your objects, including type, density, friction, bounciness, and velocity. You can also change world properties like gravity. It generates the results way faster than any animator could do by hand. Thank you. Perfect. Plugin number nine. Projection 3D, a tool for camera projection mapping and photo parallax animating in After Effects. Basically, you can make your still images 3D. This one's a bit more complicated than you'd think, but the results are so much better than what you'd get from simply rotoscoping your images and adding camera movements. You're able to wrap things around 3D shapes and take that style of effect a step further. Similar techniques were used to make something like this MCU intro. It's actually pretty good. And last but not least, plugin number 10. 
Element 3D, a 3D object animation plugin right in After Effects. We're at the temple where they filmed. You can load your 3D models into Element and do all your compositing right there. This is more primitive than something like Cinema 4D, but that doesn't mean it's not powerful. Also, almost all the 3D titles in this video were made with Element. Element 3D was my biggest introduction into 3D animation. It's easy to use if you already know After Effects. It's completely integrated. It has more detail than the default 3D animated modeling stuff that After Effects has. And Andrew Kramer is working on an update that's gonna have way more features. Where is Andrew Kramer? It's been so long. Where's that update? We need it. So if you're thinking about getting into real 3D animation, great place to start. Pretty affordable considering what it does and is a great transition into things like Cinema 4D. And that's it. Some of these plugins are over a decade old, but that just to show you how powerful they are, standing the test of time. Thank you all for watching and spending time with me in Thailand. Now I've got to head back to LA. See you in the next video.